Hi, welcome back. I am running you through a routine I've been testing for my skin since it's become really sensitive, pregnancy-induced rosacea going on, possible perioral dermatitis. It's just, it's not been a fun situation for me because this particular type of dermatitis, it really does best when you don't bother your skin, when you wear very minimal skincare and very minimal makeup. But let's be honest, it's just not realistic for someone who does what I do to not <laughs> wear makeup. <laughs> So I have been wearing this very minimal routine. I've been trying to use products that contain very minimal ingredients, and I'm gonna run you through that right now. Um, this is mainly focusing on the base, but I wanted to jazz up the look and do like a full eye look, full lips. So I'm gonna be using um, some of the Kiko shadow sticks that I reviewed in my last video since I didn't do an actual look with those. Just kinda gonna have fun with it. So um, what I ordered, because First of all, I ordered this technically because I've been harassed by you all to try this for several months and it's the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I ordered this uh, because it did seem to have pretty minimal ingredients and it kind of borders like the skincare makeup line. So I like this. I'm just going to go ahead and say it is not long wearing. Um, you really do have to set it with something and kind of um, play around with it to get it to last all day on the skin. It's just not something, I think it's really portrayed as something you put on with your fingers and then like you tap a little bit of blush on and then you're ready to go. It looks gorgeous by itself, but at the end of the day, it's just really pigment suspended in oil and the longevity is not 100 on it, but I do like the way it feels on my skin. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. Um, I actually have been applying it with a brush. I just, sometimes I'm into the, you know, face massage with my products. Sometimes I'm not. And right now I've just been applying it with a brush. I have to say that I'm um, pretty surprised by the coverage level of this product because um, Kosas is kind of known as like a very natural sheer brand but this for a tinted face oil has a decent amount of coverage so my main concern is really this area throughout here it gets super red and as you can see it does a pretty good job of concealing that i purchased this in the shade 03 i also have the kosas concealer which I'm also going to use. I love this concealer and I have it in the shade three as well. So I think if you feel you are close to my skin tone, um, those would be a really good match. I have to say it looks beautiful by itself, um, but I am so guilty of rubbing my nose throughout the day. Hashtag allergy problems. Um, in my last video, I was wearing this tinted oil and I had rubbed my nose so much that my nose was, it was completely gone. So um, yeah, if you're worried about longevity, I don't think this is the product, but it can definitely be manipulated and set with heavier powders to last longer throughout the day is what I'm trying to say. But your girl's trying to keep it minimum, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, for a little bit of added coverage, I'm gonna use the matching concealer. Well, not matching, but this is the um, Kosas concealer. It's also in the shade three, like I said. This is like both of these. Don't you just love when you get products that match your skin perfectly? That's what number three is for me in Kosas. It's not too yellow. It's not too pink. It's kind of like that perfect, just neutral in between light medium shade. And I'm going to use, generally I wouldn't apply concealer around the areas that tend to crease, like my line areas, but I do still have like some redness peeking through. So I'm gonna be very kind of like minimal with my product throughout here. Kaja Beach Stamp Bronzer. Remember when I didn't like this product? I've kind of come around to liking it. Uh, I think it just meshes really well with the Kosas oil because it's such a liquidy product. So is the Kaja one and I can use very minimal product and it shows up nicely 
on my skin and gives me some color. The RMS Tinted Unpowder, on top of this being one of my favorite powders in general, it contains very few ingredients, and so this is what I have been using to set my face just to get a little bit of extra longevity out of this face oil. I think I'm also going to use this as my lip color today, but I was loving this as my blush several weeks back, and I don't know if I ever used it on camera, but it's the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek, and it's in the shade called Fringe. It's kind of like a bronzy rose tone, like a brown mid-tone rose. Looks really good on both lips and cheeks. I'm just going to go ahead and set the tone and apply it on my lips. I'm going to use the Kiko Shadow Stick in the shade 05 Rosy Brown. This is the one that I was talking about uh, it being like an identical dupe for the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Amethyst. I want to add something to my crease, so I'm going to use the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 palette. And I think this shade is called Pink Sienna. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up and apply it in the crease. And I'm going to take the shade Persuade, which is this color right here. And I think I'm just going to, I'm going to play around with some elongation. I don't really know where I'm going. We'll see. I got this um, Big Clean Kosas Mascara sample in when I ordered the tinted oil. I've only used it one day, um, not gonna lie, I ended up taking a nap on that day and it did not hold over well. It was like all down the face when I woke up. Um, I've gotten a few messages from you all saying it flaked. I didn't notice that it flaked on me, but it definitely um, kind of ran after, I mean, I laid on my face for like an hour. So I like the brush and the formula. It seems to be a drier formula mascara, which is generally what performs best on my lashes. I'm sorry, I just have to do it. I've got to put a little bit of lip gloss on. This is the, um, Fenty Baby Brute. It's from the um, Holiday Collection. I'm going to add a little bit of um, Bare Minerals Well Rested to my under eye area just because I feel like um, because I'm doing like I did a little bit more on the eyes my under eye area looks a little left out and so I'm just going to use a little bit of this powder. You'll see like a little just press underneath. It kind of helps to like polish everything up give like a smoother finish. 
Okay, we're done. What I love about this look is my face feels almost bare. The tinted face oil, really lightweight. I only used a touch of concealer in the places that I needed it. Um, and everything else, just really lightweight and breathable that we used. Um, so yeah, eyes, you know, like if you're ultra sensitive, uh, you're following along for this really just for like the base routine, you can disregard the eye look. I mean, this is not something that I would wear every single day if my skin was having a flare up and I had to wear makeup, but I don't know. I just wanted to do, you know, a full complete look. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite sensitive skin products down below for all my sensitive skin people out there. Love like it. Anytime I ask people to tell me what their favorites are for a specific category, there always becomes this big, discussion down below in the comments. So let me know down below what you use if you have sensitive skin, especially if it's prone to redness. And I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed the product recommendations. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.